Thanksgiving. I know it's not Thanksgiving for you anymore, but it is for me. So, well, we'll call it Cheatsgiving, but uh, boy, we got a, a big spread here. I want to start off by saying all of this is homemade, okay? Uh, the, the bread is not homemade, but everything else is made from scratch, mostly by my mother-in-law, but uh, a lot of people contributed, and this is absolutely incredible. So I am super excited about this. My family, they didn't want to be filmed, which I completely understood, so we ate uh, a nice lunch. We do a Thanksgiving a little bit on the early side, so I kept the camera off, and uh, it's time to do it again. So. Here, I got some gravy in a Solo cup. <laughs> My family's got good taste. There's not much dark meat left, let's put it this way. It got eaten all up, so I got little scraps of dark meat left and there's plenty of white meat left. We got the sweet potato casserole, oh my gosh. For some reason, I never cared too much about that. <laughs> it is absolutely tremendous. Mashed potatoes with butter, salt, cream cheese, you know, real mashed potatoes. Here we got ham and pineapple, cornbread casserole. On here you can see this. This is absolutely phenomenal here. A homemade Italian stuffing. Uh, this is bacon jalapeno mac and cheese. This I actually myself made from scratch. Um, and then here, white rice of course, I told you. My family is uh, in large part Filipino and uh, we have a lot of Asian people here so every meal has got to have rice. Green bean casserole, which is great, but you can see it's the smallest portion on my plate. Some dinner rolls, and we got pancit, uh, which basically is, is noodles, uh, Filipino style. And uh, so I'm gonna get me some gravy on some of this, and we are gonna get right to it. Let's see, over here too. Over here, why not? And I think that is good. And let's see. I'm going to do my best to not eat this at turbo speed. I want to enjoy it again. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll start with uh, what's left of the dark meat turkey. Oh. Homemade grips, uh, homemade gravy, of course, too. Mmm. A little bit of mashed potatoes. Mm. Some of this casserole. Oh boy, this stuff is just so good. Oh. pecans on there too. <laughs> mm. A ham with some pineapple chunk on it. Oh yeah. Mm. green bean casserole. Gotta get it out of the way. I mean, if you're gonna do green beans, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Getting this uh, boring white meat here. Stuffing. Mm. This cornbread casserole too. Mother-in-law makes it from scratch. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's 
so good. And my own homemade mac and cheese. I actually even make the bechamel sauce from scratch. Oh. Oh. Okay, there. I sampled a little of everything. Now, I'm just going to get right into it. I don't even know what kind of order, but here we go. Oh. I'm speechless. This is the second time I'm having it, but my goodness. There is just something about this type of food. Oh, just so good. Mm. I'll tell you, I I love Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people, they get stressed out. I have an and instant for us, our household, instant. everybody comes to us. We Everybody comes. We have so many people. And, you know, we have a good-sized home. We live in the suburbs, so so we can have a larger home for this very reason. And we love hosting and, you know, organizing everything, cooking, all that stuff, you know. People get stressed out, me, you know, just the, the hustle and bustle of everything and having everyone over, I love it. It is just my favorite time of year, here all the way through Christmas, and it's just a, a real treat and pleasure to have a lot of people over and share good food. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, earlier today, it was, it was really nice to have the whole family and friends over, have an amazing meal, and this just time of year just makes me happy. I, I love it, and the fact that you can eat amazing food like this, it's truly something to be thankful for. Hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. Spend time with friends and family. Get to relax a little bit. Eating this kind of food, oh, I just get zoned out. Like I'm in a different world. Oh, it's so good. Mmm.
Got my vegetables done. I'm getting my hands in it. Mm. Mm. I've never been rendered speechless like this. <clears throat> Eating all this fast food and processed stuff, yeah, it's delicious. You crave it, you know. But then a chance to really just eat really good home cooked food. Oh, just night and day difference. And you know, even though I don't think and crave home cooked food really, <clears throat> I mean to a degree, you know, you're always thinking about those Big Macs or the ice cream or the, you know, pizza, whatever. I mean, you don't think about this, but you know, doing these type of videos now and eating a lot of those pizzas and you know, basically everything, and then now eating this with that type of savage hunger, I have to say this is so much more fulfilling and I feel better eating it. So, oh, this is amazing. Ah, a lot of calories today. <laughs> this will put meat on your bones, that's for sure. Mm. Now that I got the white meat out of the way, I got some skin and dark meat left. Tire that plate, make a little more room. Thick piece of ham. A lot of food <laughs> but so many of these dishes you know they're they're once a year dishes so you really gotta get your fill of them enjoy it while it's there Then it's car free. Because this is homemade, <clears throat> and my mother in law is a little secretive, a little bit, of her recipes, 
I don't know the calorie count on this at all, but I'm going to tell you it's high. She cooks with a lot of butter, a lot of tasty stuff that's not low in calorie. Well, look at this. Come down to the wire. Mm. That's a bit of the turkey. Stuffing. That, my friend, is how you eat a Thanksgiving dinner. I ain't playing around when it comes to food like this. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. All right, here we are back with some desserts and we uh, got some coffee here and uh, heavy cream and this time whipped cream, homemade whipped cream. And by the way, everything on this plate is absolutely homemade. Chocolate chip cookie, homemade. We got some homemade fudge, regular, and some Oreo cookie fudge. Now, I'm not a big fudge guy, because as you may not be surprised, I find it a little too sweet. And then we got ube cheesecake. Of course, the Filipino side, uh, completely homemade, the homemade whipped cream. And now, here is the true star of not just the desserts, but of the entire Thanksgiving. This right here, well, <clears throat> is the pumpkin roll. And this is completely homemade by my mother-in-law. And this, people drive from across the country just for this. <clears throat> oh, it is absolutely amazing. So I think I'm gonna save that for the end. Got some coffee, which I probably shouldn't be drinking at this hour, but <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna stop uh, stop me from having a tremendous sleep tonight, so. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the fudge because it's the sweetest. Mm. I have to say, for not ever being a fan of fudge or even liking fudge, this is good fudge. Mm. Now this Oreo cookie fudge here, Mmm. Oh, meh. <laughs> Amazing. Homemade cookie, chocolate chip. You know, homemade everything is just better. What a difference. <clears throat> I've eaten a lot of store-bought cookies and whatever, even crumble and all these other places. Too sweet. This is just so much better. A lot of kids running around <laughs> and boy these cookies just got gobbled up really fast mm. now the ube cheesecake and for those of you that don't know what ube is which i'm sure most of you don't it's like a sweet potato like a, a sweet yam but it's it's purple in color and in the filipino food they use it all the time for desserts so um, you know, I've never had a cheesecake before, so let's see here. Oh, wow. It, you look at it, you think, oh, sweet potato cheesecake. Well, it doesn't really taste like that at all. I mean, obviously there's sugar added, but it's actually very 
very del del delicate, subtle. Uh, you, you barely even notice a hint of it at all. It's actually amazing. Mm. Mm. After all that Thanksgiving dinner, desserts, coffee, I mean, doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> oh, just amazing. I probably should feel worse than I do after all these calories. But I think, again, just being real food, homemade food, what a difference it makes. You just got me thinking, <clears throat> I may do some, uh, instead of just always eating out for some of the cheap meals, let me know what you guys think, but maybe doing some of my favorite home cooked stuff that I make. I do love to cook. I cook a lot of things. And uh, <clears throat> I know overall that would be healthier if I did it that way. And still, I mean, really just as amazing. So if you guys have ideas or stuff like that, let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear it. <laughs> Pumpkin rolls. Oh, no. oh, this is so good. Amazing. And the best part too is my mother-in-law just taught my stepdaughter how to make this. <clears throat> and she was actually involved in the process. So I know this is going to be around for years to come. <laughs> like I told you, anything with cream cheese. Oh, just instantly becomes so much better. And the finale, the last pumpkin roll, or at least the last one on my plate. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. An absolutely fabulous Thanksgiving feast. I hope you had an amazing time. I certainly did. As I said, I love this time of year. It just, it's just amazing to be around family and friends and to really have something to be thankful for because we really all do at the end of the day. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, you can lose weight and still eat great, even on the holidays. See you next time.